Brothers and sisters, well, <clears throat> a little bit meta today. Just thanks for your prayer and prayer for everyone. People are sending prayer in all the time. But I just want to thank my newsfeed people, the people who are sending me information. You know, Heather, I, I've got three links there. I will get through them when I get home because um, the phone's too small. And I need to absorb it and share it and put it onto things to pass on. And Frank, you know, great information coming. And Jeff, another link I need to look at. That is very interesting. I uh, probably missed it in the chat last night. So if you get a chance, send that link over email if you haven't already. I I'm fascinated with that, to be honest with you, not looking at the light. I I've got to get to that as well. So lots of, lots of news, but um, keep it coming, guys, because it's... It's it's close, isn't it? Now, I'm I'm not pinning a date here. I'm looking at everybody's dates, you know, and that's what I do. We know I ex I expect something major to happen this month or next. I don't know why. I just feel it. So because <clears throat> the whole of creation is groaning now. Nature is create is is groaning. The word is prophesying. Everything is seems to be coming close. But I'll I'll give you rapture dates to watch. Okay, that's the best I can do. They're not from me. And I won't say who they're from. But um, we've had a high watch time and a high watch time to come. Um, we're looking at dates to look for the 10th and 11th of this month. Make a note in your diary. Um, we've also got the 15th and 16th of this month to watch. So we're going to high watch time all the way through here, guys. And so th this is a time to roll the sleeves up. Look, roll the sleeves up, ripped. And pray, isn't it? This is the time to move on. We've got lists of brothers and sisters to um, pray for on, on the live shows all the time. And I will work out how to put a, a public link in somewhere which we can share in the bottom of all the videos, the Salvation Scripture, how to know what we're talking about. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, it's time to come, you know. And I'll say at the beginning of John 3.16, for God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son Jesus Christ so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life um, and then we'll follow that with uh, Romans 10 9 if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you're saved you can't I, I don't care what anybody says that's it for me God doesn't lie you're saved guys and you need to be right now but anyway back to where we're going from this was from Frank, I think. Came over VC last night. Dems are grooming Michelle Obama to run with Vice President Barack to crush Trump. Well, I don't think they're going to do it. You know, I think the pond <clears throat> is coming empty. Looking back at the uh, Mark Taylor's prophecies on the US, and I'm getting, you know, I had a comment this morning. Mark Taylor is a false prophet. You know, please elaborate. You know, don't, 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 don't spam, is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm open to anything, but up to now, uh, Mark Taylor's prophecies have come true. So, how is that false? But anyway, I'll get, I'll skip that. I'm not into arguing with anyone, brothers and sisters. We've got to stick together at this time, really closely. Not, um, just find something to say for the sake of saying it. So, please comment if you don't like what's coming out on this channel. Please unsubscribe. You know, don't, don't, it's no, it's no harm. We're not after subscribers here because after Rapture, this channel won't matter. It'll only matter for the people that's left behind. So I don't really mind. So we've got, um, coming up 500 subscribers. We've been over 500, we're going less. It doesn't really matter. YouTube will do what it's going to do. But Dems are grooming Michelle Obama. And she's saying that she won't stand for president. Yeah, like, I don't believe that at all. She might not, but... Her husband, uh, who would be vice president, who would step into her shoes if anything happened to her. <clears throat> We're dealing with the dark side here, guys. And then basing that, at the moment, I'd say don't worry about that because it's not going to happen. I could see Trump being in in the next election to complete the works of the father. That's that's what I'd say. Jeff, I really need to look at that link you sent I haven't as yet because I've gone straight from working late on the live show to coming to work this morning <clears throat> so when I get home and had me tea and done a bit of work <laughs> I will get through the links that everybody sent me you know Heather and I have done the 
Frank's this is this is it. This is the democratic I think Frank. But Frank, I just want to say I'm praying for you and your family, for peace within your family. I won't share it publicly, but uh, just pray everybody for for Frank. Um that his wife and his family will have an amazing peace and togetherness and that everybody, everybody will meet up on that final time when we can come together at the great feast where the tables are so long so long you know i won't have time to meet anyone it's going to take me a couple of thousand years <laughs> <In that moment. laughs> or more who cares <clears throat> but i will meet you all in the air at the twinkling of an eye shortly you know i have no doubt now that the prophecies are all fulfilled to the rapture date we can be raptured any time any moment so keep going and working let's not lie in the sand and play dead guys let's get it going and work to what the father would have us do in these end times it's time to get on your knees and pray what do you want me to do oh father god i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that you bring me the ears that want to hear that in this time you'll bring people to this channel that want to hear about your word and I'll say again, you know, because this is the message that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're saved. Ephesians 2, 8 9. It is by grace you are saved through faith. It is a gift of God, not of work, so that no man might boast. Just to dispel the work. Um, ethos, it's free. It's a free gift. Jesus did it on the cross. And to be honest, be honest with yourselves. If we have to work for it, then we're mocking Jesus for doing it on the cross. He was eternal before <clears throat> he was there at creation i can imagine him him a capital hem hem a capital h this is my vision that when he created adam jesus knelt down in the sand and blew adam into life that's the vision i have of jesus christ at the beginning you know creating everything with his dad you know his love and heavenly father who he is one <laughs> <clears throat> I'll get there sometime. Um, but it's been it's been great to spend my dinner breaks doing this and my time doing this. What a wonderful gift the Father has given us that he's getting out on this media platform, even though the media platform is not that happy about it because, well, well let's not go into that. But greater is he that is in me than it's he that is in the world. And we'll battle on to the end, and the end will be when we're home, and the home will come soon. How do you know? Because everything's pointing there. So I just leave you that note. I'd better get back to work. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I just again thank all the brothers and sisters for coming on. We will be doing lots of stuff as much as I can squeeze in because I haven't got a lot of time left. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to it. I don't expect to retire. I expect to go home because the pension's better there. But anyway, brothers and sisters, I'll leave you with what we've got today. Bear in mind, watch the Dems, watch what's going on in America. Um, I will keep you posted on the prophecies from Mark Taylor. We'll look at that consistently to sort of build up our picture. Keep our eyes on the, the, the elections, coming elections. Vote for you-know-who, DT. <clears throat> and go forward. Pray for also the government's... We we're told to pray for our governments and people in authority. And I want to ask you to pray, especially for Boris Johnson, our new premier. He's like Trump, a wild card. And I don't mean that. He's come up, he said a lot of silly things in the past, but he will speak his mind. And pray for Brexit, because I, I don't know where we're going with that. And I pray that coming out is all within the grace of God and what he would have in his final plan. But pray that it gets completed. It will be completed if it's God's plan. But I pray that it gets completed peaceably. We we pray over France at the moment, who's having a difficult time with the rioting and the protests. We also pray over Hong Kong. We can't pray for cease because we don't know if it's God's will, but pray that the outcome will be in the Father's name. And as I said, again, I, re I really must go and do some work and have something to eat. So may God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you in Jesus' name this day. God bless.